Breaking news. President Mohamed Buhari finally leaves ban on Twitter. It's just dropping on us now, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. On this day called the Independence Day, uh, October the 1st, has just declared that Twitter ban in Nigeria has been lifted. The President after making, you know, um, putting comments on Twitter that do not comply with the social media or the big, you know, social media platform regulations, quickly deleted what the president of Nigeria put on there. And so the president, as the big baby that throws tantrum, began to say, how dare they, a whole me, Nigerian's president, before you could say Jack Robinson, it became a big issue. We saw the minister of... Um, we saw the Minister of Information, Alajim Lai Mohammed, go to America and say, well, uh, we want to, but it did not happen. Anyway, President Muhammad Buhari has just declared to Nigerians that Twitter ban has been lifted. But do Nigerians really still need it? I mean, you can keep it anyway. People have been using Twitter, even government officials, up all over the rank. So lifting it or not lifting it does not really make anything really special. It does not commemorate because it's uh, Independence Day. Or does it? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Breaking news President Mohamed Buhari leaves Twitter ban on in Nigeria. President Mohamed Buhari has lifted the ban on the social media giant Twitter. President Mohamed Buhari has approved conditional lifting of ban on microblogging giant Twitter. The president made this position known during the broadcast to mark Nigerian 61st independence celebration on Friday in Abuja during his speech. The federal government suspended the operation of Twitter in Nigeria on June 5th to allow, according to the government, put measures in place to address, identify, negative trend exhibited by social media platform. The president announced that the presidential committee has Ha, he constituted along with his technical team to engage Twitter to explore the possibility of resolving the issue that led to the suspension of Twitter activities in Nigeria has successfully addressed a number of key issues. Following the suspension of Twitter operation in Nigeria, Twitter Incorporated reached out to the federal government of Nigeria to resolve, resolve the issue subs subsequently constituted which was constituted by the presidential committee to engage twitter to explore the possibility of resolving the issue the committee alongside its technical team has engaged with twitter and have addressed a number of key issues these are national security cohesion registration physical presence representation fair taxation dispute resolution and local content Following the extensive engagement, the issue are now being addressed, and I have directed that the suspension be lifted, but only if the conditions are met to allow citizens continue to use the platform for business and possible and positive engagement. Buhari is just speaking, you know, he's just speaking his own words. I can assure you that his children has been using Twitter even since he said Twitter has been banned. Anyway, my people, story that touch has reached us. Buhari is very happy that he has done something worthwhile. On Independence Day, he don't share money given and at the suspension of Twitter being lifted. Oh. Now, you know, when they talked about the whole thing, it's very good when they use elaborate speech and um, be big English eh, to, so, to, to say their position. But they're not tell you what really happen. They're not tell you. What in the president do? We make them ban. We make, we make them when you know lead to the issue. When he's saying they ban Twitter, the president of your country put something that was very controversial. He said the people do not. I mean, talking about sectionists, do not know what they are doing. He said because if he's to deal with them, they would they would know that he was uh, in the worst situation. But what happened between 1967 and 1970, the whole months and blah 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 blah, and Twitter found that very offensive. So for somebody who is the president threatening the country with war, a possibility of what happened previously, you know, and I mean, it's not expected. So, you know, there are some things that can be pardoned from, 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 from some people, but not acceptable from another person. Not because there is inequality, but because of your position. 
because of the, the status, because of what you represent. Nobody's expecting such from you. The president of a country standing before everybody to say that before the world, because apparently Twitter, that um, they don't understand what it was when it took those, uh, how many days, whether 30 months plus in this and that, that they, you know, I mean, what are you threatening the people with? Inevitably, you are telling them that you are ready to go back to that time. You know, that you, I mean, that's the president of a country that sh that's, whose words should be soothing, whose words should be encouraging, whose words should bring about hope. You know, we're not saying you have the solution for crying out loud, you are not God. But what you should do and what you should say should go a long way to support the people. So much so that when they hear from you, there is this uh, fresh breath of air, a ray of hope, irrespective of the challenges. But rather you come full with truth, full with, you know, the people are even more threatened than you can imagine. And yet you tell us you are the president. How are you being a father figure? How are you representing, truly, really speaking, the people? You are making them more afraid, putting, you know, taking away their confidence because you are the president? Excuse me. Twitter found it very offensive and said, this man, we don't think he understands his position. They took it out before you could say Jack Robinson, the president of your country, started throwing tantrum. How dare they? Take away my tweet. Oh, they don't take... And they started, the president of the country started comparing himself. They don't take away Nandi Kanu's tweet. Oh, Nandi Kanu says more inciting words. True, and he propagates this true Biafra, Biafra through this. Nobody says anything to him. I put something on Twitter. They take it out. Have they forgotten I'm the president? Blah, 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 blah. Before you could say Jack Robinson, Twitter bam. And today they are saying is lifted. Does it really make much difference? Just a question. Does it really make much difference? Because whether you like it or not, I must tell you, Nigerians have been using this um, this medium, this platform. A time came they were threatening, saying, "Well, anybody who is using this um, this platform, oh, we are going to do A, B, C, D, Z to the person. We are going to ensure that the person understand that we have put a ban on it." Guess what? Even church leaders they said, "Listen, you are going beyond your ban." There is a constitution that governs the people. And so if you go beyond your band, if you do any here, you go see any here. Now so life just be. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.